Hey, here I am again. Um, 6.30. So, uh, full day. Been playing around with that frame. Just going to have a look. I got quite a bit done, as you can see. Dun, dun, dun. Looks pretty badass. Not finished yet, obviously. Long way to go. But check it out. Looking nice, huh? Yeah, I'm happy with it so far. Jen gave me a hand because I had to put the rims on and lift the frame up. And but the flake looks good. Chrome swing arm looks good. Lester's look good. Drilled hub's pretty cool. A lot of attention to detail here, like you know, with either re-chroming or new or machine stuff. There's my custom battery box. You say we this is the quick releases here and here and here and here and here and here so easier to get the engine in there's the uh, satellite um, GPS speedometer still got to put the handlebars and the light on obviously um, I wanted to machine the uppers machine that machine the lowers not quite finished with this fender I'm making but it's nearly there um, blanked off the speed over cable drive because I wanted to keep that there anyway but blank that off because this doesn't need a cable so I'm pretty happy with it <laughs> lots to do though you know I did, but um, I got a bit a lot done today there's a little mark there I can see but we can sand that I think that's clear coat yeah Let's have a look around here. Still got to put this center stand on it so I can get it on the table, you know. I had to have it up in the air to get the rims on, but uh, just thought I'd give you a show of what it's like. I like this, it's pretty cool. It's all coming together. I use a 78 lower and a 75 Super Sport upper. And then made the bracket and everything for the GPS to sit in there. So there you go. It's been a day, I tell you. Sun is going down now, which is good because it's been pretty hot today, and tomorrow is probably nearly 80 degrees. So I've got to make the most of it because I think Wednesday and Thursday we got rain again. So I like to get as much done as I could today while Jennifer's here to give me a hand, you know. And without her, I wouldn't be able to put the rims and stuff on and set the space in, you know. So um, yeah, I've got a lot done. I'm happy with that. The the Vesco bike is is starting to look pretty cool. So I just want to share that with you. One more time. Hope you like it. And so we'll get on with some more tomorrow. It won't look a lot different tomorrow anyway because I'm I just, you know, tightening up nuts and bolts. Going over bits I need to. Can't put a chain on it till I put the motor in. But, uh, yeah, when the motor goes in, then I put the exhaust in and all the other goody stuff. Which would be fun. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's going to look great. Right, I'm going to shut this off. Thanks for watching. Uh, you can follow me on uh, carpyscaferacers.com as usual. Um, other stuff I'll be on is Carpy Ca Carpy's Cafe Racers, which is on Facebook, as well as Steve Carpy Carpenter, Carpy's Cafe, Cafe Racer Lifestyle, and Carpy's Garage. So I try and. Um, advertise that as much as I can. I love what I do. This is my hobby and my career all in one. So people like to see how I'm getting on and doing stuff. And you can do the same stuff in your garage back where you are. So I guess now it's time for something to eat. It's, it's a Friday, so it's going to be a pizza night. Can't be bad. Stay tuned anyway, and uh, I'll be doing some more blogs later. I've got to figure out how to shut this off. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Ta-da.